Hey guys, we're gonna uh, talk to you guys today or share with you um, different methods of climbing um, when you're using a saddle. Uh, I guess you could use it with a lock on as well. Um, anyway, we're gonna focus today on climbing spurs. Uh, climbing spurs, I've used them off and on for about five years. Um, super convenient uh, once you get the hang of it and get comfortable. We're gonna take you through that today and kind of show you how the how what I'm using is working for me. Uh, keep in mind though, uh, spurs are not always legal on public lands. Uh, obviously uh, private land, you can use them how you wish or how the landowner wishes you to or not to use them. So anyway, I'm gonna show you what I've got going on today and uh, I'm gonna get up this tree, climb up, uh, show you how I'm setting up my platform, then shimmy my way back down. All right, so um, these particular spurs are called Climrites, or the company that makes them is uh, Climrite. I've used some uh, tape here, some uh, felt tape, stealth strips, camo form, just to, to quiet down some of the metal parts. Uh, I could obviously do a better job. These are my, my actual spurs. Now, when they came, they had Velcro to attach around my calf. Um, I've modded that and I actually modded this as well with this same type with the buckle. Um, the buckle wasn't very effective because every time that I would stick the spike into the tree, it goes in pretty deep when I pull it out, the buckle would loosen and this would be a floppy mess. So um, I was in the process of modding them with a new system, haven't got around to doing it. Um, had these laying around, these are actually, I don't remember where they're from or how I got them. Ordered them from actually from a tree spur, uh, tree arborist store. And basically, I love these. The first time I'm using them, I love them because they're super tight. The one drawback I hate is that. I don't want Velcro in the woods. That's why I took the calf portion off in the first place. But just for the purpose of this video today, uh, I wanted to be able to have something on there to show you guys. So that's what I'm gonna use today. Again, seam right now, super tight. Uh, I just don't like the noise in the woods. I'm a big noise guy. So having that, that Velcro sounds just a no-go for me. But um, I guess if you're in a pinch and that's what you got, uh, as long as uh, they're tight, like I said, and safe, you're good to go. So what this strap does here, or any strap that goes around the bottom, is basically securing your foot to this, uh, this rest here. Um, so I'll lock this in here. And this is, again, the Velcro that I'm not a fan of, but it gets it super tight. So at this point, you can see I got the spurs on. Um, I bought these aftermarket. These are just to protect the tips, right? Or protect me from jamming myself in there. So those are what I use uh, when I'm carrying them around and whatnot. So for me to climb the tree in a hunting situation, I'm going to put my backpack back on. Backpacks here. Um, my Predator platform. Hang that off my S clip in the back. So at this point, I'm ready to climb, get my lineman's belt out, go around, and you'll watch me do that. keep going here if I wanted to but it starts to uh, bend here um, so some things about uh, with spurs 
there's always a chance depending on the angle of the spike going in the tree um, the type of tree it is how hard of the wood it is if you don't get the spike in there you have an option to where it'll kick out lineman's belt safety first obviously um, i have kicked out uh, i think twice once was with uh, one foot uh, the other time was with both lineman's belt caught me i dropped a little bit not very far at all maybe uh just a few inches or whatever but obviously anytime you're dropping or falling it can be scary but uh here's where i'm at standing in the tree and spurs i do not recommend using these to hunt this way uh, as far as using this as your stationary platform i don't suggest that at all i've heard of guys doing it um, i'm comfortable my feet are not hurting but over a period of time uh, the, the, the buckle around my calves will bite in, babe, depending on the angle I'm using here. Um, and there's not really a fix for it, it's just gonna happen if you're using the spurs. Again, they're comfortable, no, no pain or anything like that. Easily uh, going up the tree. I'm gonna show you how uh, I come down and then I'll show you how I go back up and uh, attach my platform to the tree to hunt out of. Then how to, uh, take the spurs off when I'm in actually going to hunt out of the uh, saddle and how I use those. Again, this is my way. A lot of guys are using other methods. Uh, I'm just doing what I know and what's been efficient for me. One thing I always keep in mind, I try to keep my hands above my lineman's belt because if it was to drop and I'm holding here, I don't want my fingers caught against the tree. So I try to keep them on here on top of it or above it as I'm coming down. And I'm going down extra slow. I haven't actually, I didn't use spurs this year. Um, it might've been a couple years. I don't have a good reason as to why. Um, my sticks have been pretty efficient, but uh, just doing this now um, reminds me of how much I do like them because I feel like I'm a, like a little tree squirrel. I can get up pretty quick, come down pretty quick. Obviously I haven't practiced in a while, so I'm a little bit slower, but uh, I think this is something that I'm gonna go back to for sure. These are, uh, again, uh, I think these are Climrites. They're considered like an aluminum um, spur. They have uh, carbon fiber spurs out. It's been out for a few years now. Uh, high money, high cost. Uh, if I had that money, I would definitely have some because they are super light. Um, I have used some, I've got some buddies that have them. These right here, I want to say ballpark three to four hundred dollars, uh, best I can remember. Um, so it's kind of what you're looking at when you buy sticks anyway, you know, especially a, a, an elite style stick, uh, you're going to spend three, four hundred dollars. So uh, the weight of these, I want to say they're about a pound and a half to two pounds a piece. So I'm looking at four, four and a half pounds maybe. Uh, which is again, uh, for most sticks, uh, are going to be heavier than that. Uh, if you get the tethered one sticks or some of the uh, carbon fiber sticks, they're going to be probably a little bit lighter. But uh, I mean, these are pretty efficient. I mean, I can get up and down the tree uh, pretty easy and not have to take things down and store it and all this stuff. It's just sticks are on. And then I take them off when I'm at hunting height. All right, so let me take you through how a hunt would go. We're putting the platform on. I'm, I'm just gonna go a little bit off the ground. I'm not gonna go super high. All right, let's say I've climbed this tree and I'm at hunting height. Platform here connected to my saddle. All my weight is being used on my lineman's belt. Uh, one thing about your lineman's belt as well, you want that below, or excuse me, above your hips. Set my platform. All right, now here's the cool thing. I can actually climb above it if I need to.
So one thing I'm very cognizant of, so obviously I've got these metal spikes on. I don't want the spikes, it's not gonna harm anything, but with this metal on metal, it's kind of a dead sound, but try and stay away from that. So once I get to this point, I, uh, two feet are on the platform, lineman's belt is on. My next step is I'm gonna take out my tether for another safety. All right, I'm hooked into my bridge now. I am now going to drop my saddle a little bit. Again, my lineman's belt is still on. I'm good here. I'm gonna take it off. Put my lineman's belt up so it's out of the way. Now, as far as uh, taking these spurs off and how I store them, everybody, I mean, there's all kinds of different methods. I mean, it's not, it's not anything specific that you have to do. Um, when I was using a different bag, um, I might put those in if I'm running a his strap, uh, uh, like a Molly webbing strap that uh, tethered goes with a his strap. Uh, if you put it, you can use S clips and hang it off of that. Um, like so. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to. Uh, put up the his strap and just use it uh I, well this is i hang my bag from this um also hang my um bow from but uh this is just to show you guys just a method or a couple methods maybe here we can use so normally i would have this his strap up higher um just above my tether for me usually. So I'd have my bow hanging here. So I'm gonna take my pack off. Now I got a couple options here. I'm gonna put this, normally I'd put it right here on this other tree, but just for showing you guys what I'm gonna do. Now, when I, when I came into the woods, I had each spur, one on each side of these wings. I could put those back there. I could have S clips and hang them off of the molly um, I may just put these inside my pack though, right in here. I've got the room. All right, so I'm gonna take these off. Now, obviously I got up the tree with spurs on. If I drop one, it'd be in a little bit of trouble, but I've got enough ropes and stuff that I think I could, I could still get down. But that is a fear of mine. If you have spurs, you're going up the tree. A lot of guys will repel down. I don't repel. Uh, not that I won't. Uh, I just I just typically don't. I don't want to carry the extra stuff. I just put the spurs back on and climb right back down. But anyway, here goes. Here's the part that I said I'm not a fan of. Um, these are these are on uh, with Velcro. So this is what I don't want to happen in the woods. Right while I'm hunting. That's why I don't prefer this. But it's just too loud. Spurs off. Now again, I could attach these to the bag and have them hanging. I'm just gonna stick them inside the bag. Spurs up, spurs up. So I'm in a position now to where I can, I can hunt. I, uh, Took a little bit longer just to, to go through the motions, just to talk to you guys. For me to come back down, I do exactly the opposite or reverse of what I did on the way up. All right, so I got my spurs back on. Um, coming down from the hunt, Reverse everything, get my backpack. 
put it on. Good strap. So now I'm gonna attempt to take my platform off and come down the tree. Okay, lemon belt's on, I'm secure. Tighten my saddle back up. Tether is removed from bridge. Obviously, these are all things I'd be doing while saddle hunting anyway. The only thing different is I'm not using sticks to get up the tree and come down and take them off one at a time, which isn't bad at all. Like anything else, any method that you're gonna use, the more practice you get with it, the more efficient and quicker you're gonna be. I mean, there's gonna be guys that can say, hey, I can climb the tree in a climber in 10 minutes and somebody's gonna come back and say, I can get up in the tree with my sticks uh, in nine minutes and trump that. At the end of the day, here's, here's uh, uh, something about the spurs. Um, on my sticks, I use aiders to get extra height. With spurs, you don't need an aider. You can go up as high as you want to. If you get to a limb, you've got your lineman, there's a limb coming out here. You take your tether and you go above the limb and just uh, go back and forth using those two. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna step on my platform, lift it up, and then I'm gonna plant into that tree. I'm taking baby steps right now. Like I said, I haven't done it in a year or two years. All right, so now I'm in a position to take my platform off. Feet are in spurs. Some people call them tree spikes, lineman spikes, arborist spikes. That's one thing that uh, I haven't uh, touched on. There are different size uh, spikes on, on spurs. Some spurs are made for specific types of uh, uses. I'm not a uh, specialist in this area, so I can't tell you. I just know that uh, I'd confirmed with some buddies what I'd be looking for when I bought these. These are plenty long, plenty sharp. Everything I took up the tree is on my person now, and I'll just walk myself back down the tree like you watched uh, earlier. Which in this case, this is two steps. So uh, if you've taken anything from the video, remember this. Mama says they was my magic shoes and they could take me anywhere. Magic shoes. So, uh, at the end of the day, there's so many climbing methods out there. Uh, I suggest go through them all. Find what you think is gonna be the best for you, uh, and then maybe grab two of those and practice those. Uh, that's gonna be uh, more efficient for you. I know like when I first start hunting uh, in the fall of every year, you know, even though I saddle hunt and I do a lot of demos and all this stuff, taking everything up, uh, going through the motions. I'm a little slower that first couple times and then, you know, it's like tying my shoes after that. I mean, I'm, I'm faster, everything comes back. Uh, so, um, but pick out a couple different methods to climb the tree. That way, if uh, you get into a situation where you can't do one, you got the other one as a backup. Uh, but I'm a big fan of the spurs. Um, uh, I've been using sticks the last couple years. When available uh, and legal, I'm gonna I'm gonna definitely be using these uh, in the future uh, again. I'm going to change this method out here. I'm going to essentially I'll get a strap, uh, probably a two or excuse me, not a two inch, but a one inch, and wrap around a few times and cinch it with a uh, some type of I don't know if it's gonna be a I don't think it'll be something like this buckle but i'll find something because 
when this spike goes into the tree, it's going in pretty deep and you've got to yank it out sometimes. Um, and with these types of buckles, they loosen up when you continuously yank on them. So I want something that's not going to come loose at all because you can imagine being in the tree here and then this coming like that and it's, it's flopping around. That's kind of what it is. I've been there. Uh, it's, not a, it's not a fun situation to be in. So as my wrap up, uh, that's, you know, get you a couple different methods to, to get up in the tree, whether you're lock on or, or saddle or whatever. Uh, and practice, practice is going to be your, your best option there.